Welcome back. This segment is called See Your Children Happy. Uh, my husband and son did not have a good relationship during the dark period and the lies. My son now knows the complete truth and he forgave his father with me and now they have a really, really great relationship. It's just wonderful to see. There is a lot of physical attention, either they're hugging or roughhousing, or my husband always wants my son to pick him up and crack his back. It's really, really great to see. Sometimes on Sundays I'll be sitting at the computer writing my book, it's not too late, baby, and I'll, I'll write in real time out the window behind me. My son and my husband are now playing basketball together. So that would not have been possible if uh, I had just gone to get out, let's get a divorce. Uh, when I did tell my son what was happening, uh, he wasn't surprised. It seems like I was the last one to catch on to the truth. He also told me he'd lose respect for me if I didn't divorce my husband. I smiled, one of those, yeah, I remember that smile. I was the same age as he was when my mother asked me if she should divorce my father. They had been fighting and fighting, and I remember I said, yes! You know, you keep complaining, just get it over with already. Oh, how I wish I could take those words back and rewind and go back in time. I had no idea my father would remarry so quickly and have an entirely new family to go on vacations and holidays with and do things with and, and things were never ever the same. I had a lifetime of a stepmother and eventually a stepfather, awkward family parties and of course our precious home was sold. I had to listen to my mother and her grievances about my father for the rest of my life. It got a little bit better when she remarried, but soon started having grievances about the new husband. I did not want to become that way. I wanted to do better. I wanted to do better than my mother. I wanted to be stronger for my son. I wanted to do anything possible to fix the problems. I didn't even know at that time that I was a rescuer. First of all, my husband had gotten himself tangled up with someone I can only assume was very controlling and uh, she wasn't so willing to let him go. It, it reminds me of um, when a child is sexually abused. The abuser kind of has you by the back of the neck, you know, they have you in their clutches and you're just this innocent child. Um, you know, you grow up never resolving this trauma and then uh, when trauma hits on top of trauma uh, like his sister dying I think he got himself a new captor you know it's really all very sad and it's very sad to me um, you know it, it, it's I'm not blaming him I'm just trying to be compassionate and understand how it can happen. He led me to believe at one time, I think when I caught him the second time, he led me to believe that it was a deep emotional connection and I like a fool believed him. The truth was he was in way too deep and all I could see for his future was bankruptcy, foreclosure and suicide. That was not an option for my son's father either. And how was I about to explain that to his mother and his family? How could I say I just, you know, eh, I just let it happen. You know? People ask me, you know, why did I really forgive, you know, or some people are like, oh, she, maybe she's scared and just stayed for the money, you know, but that's not it. This is it. This is seeing on paper someone destroying themselves. That's why I didn't leave him. That's why I said to him, we're going to fix this. I called him up. He was, o he was overseas. I said, we're going to fix this. I said, no one's ever had your back before. No one protected you as a child. No one protected your sister as a child or your brother as a child. I said, I'm, I'm, I have your back. We're going to work on this together. And I remember what he said. He goes, I appreciate that. You know, but that was it. That was the third chance. And uh, when he came home, that's when everything settled. And from, from then on, it was all really different. 
You know the expression, it takes a village. Well, I felt like it took an entire village. My son saw me do at least 10 things simultaneously to heal and be able to forgive. I didn't know at the time I would be able to do this. And uh, there are times even now when I still feel extremely hurt and angry. But I, I'm so happy that I was able to raise it all up and help my husband out of the downward spiral and give my son his father back even better than before and get my sweet husband back in my arms. It's okay to do better than your parents. It's okay to begin new and improved habits. Our children can imitate. Give them something new that they can imitate, something positive and pass on to their generations. You know, I just feel like people have to start talking about this more. There has to be more of a conversation. You know, um, we have the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer. Where are the sexual abuse? Where is their voice? Where is a safe place for them? Uh, a friend of mine said it's like someone put a little bomb in them. You know, as a child, it's, it's around the neck. I want you to know that you are strong enough to give it a try at least. I know it takes two to tangle, but you can do it. You can try, for you, even for your children. If you don't think you can, try, try it for your children. It's, it's not just putting a Band-Aid on. It, it could mean taking out the big shovel and digging and digging to the bottom, to the crux of the problem, trying every angle. Um, in my case, I knew about my husband's sexual abuse because he told me about it years ago. And it, it's so sad to me to think of so many couples that, or so many, let's say women in this case, like mine, are unaware that it even happened to their husband. I mean, how do they have compassion if they don't even know? They just think they're jerks. One of the main reasons that I wrote the book, It's Not Too Late Baby, a Kundalini love story, is that my heart breaks for the children of divorce. They still see their dads every other weekend, and he's always such a jerk. You know, I was 55 when this happened to me, and I, I can't even imagine being 35, 45, you know, what about 29, and this happening as a young woman. Would I have had the strength then? Would I have been able to do what I did this time? From what I see, there's a lot of pain going around. And we can raise it all up. You're stronger than you think and it's worth a try.